Well, folks, we got some orders of business today. We're mostly addressing ourselves to Twitters uh, today, but also, as I have promised in the past, today I'm going to world premiere a brand new poem, <gasps> a work of cowboy poetry. And what it is is a fixing up of a fucked up poem from NPR.com's. Wow. Where you remember this, it was a few, up, could be about a month ago now. Somebody on Twitter alerted us to the existence of a journo poem. <laughs> <laughs> a work of journalism in the form of a poem for no explained reason no. whatsoever. No. And, it, and the story was well, I'll tell you the headline, which already it just announces itself as an incompetent work of poetry. The headline is An Ice Age bison was discovered, then soon eaten once the foul taste was smothered. So right there in the poem, they're sort of trying to rhyme smothered and discovered, but in an awkward way. But that's the subject. There was, they have found, they found a mummified uh, bison up there in Alaska, and they and they decided to try and eat it and see how it was. Mm -hmm. And uh, and the poem is a sloppy. To say the least. To say the least. It's a real mess. Uh, and we read it in full about a month ago. You can about go back and check that out. I ain't going to read it again. But what I did do is I read it over carefully, and I says, let me fix it. Let me turn it into a true work of cowboy poetry. God damn. No surprise here. It turned out great. And uh, <laughs> I tell you what, it, this is a, I think this is a, a classic example of the form of cowboy poetry. Wow. So you're going to give that to us right now? I'm going to read it to you. Maybe I'll give you a little bit of soft harmonica background. Oh, what a good idea. Folks, if anybody ever asks you for, what is cowboy poetry? One of your city slicking friends. You just read them this one, because it's a classic example of the form. And it's called, I, I can't use the original title, so I'm going to call it Bison Mummy by Dalton Wilcox. Okay. All right, ready? Yep. Beautiful. The pharaohs and weirdos of ancient Egypt days would wrap their corpses in bandages. Such was their unnatural ways. These things was called mummies, but I'm guessing you know that. Did you know, however, that they'd mummify a cat? They'd mummify a dog, a horse, or a goddamn cockatoo. Them tombs of ancient Egypt were like a fucking mummy zoo. Because they'd go and mummify any old goddamn thing, all sorts of different mummies might come looking for their ring or their amulet or bracelet or their mummified girlfriend, an encounter with any kind of mummy could lead you to your end. Well, this might sound incredible, but I swear it ain't no lie, son. It seems one of these pharaohs got his hands upon a bison. And when that bison died, the pharaoh wrapped him up real tight and locked him in the tomb to be forever in his sight. Then some city slicking explorer must have busted in down there and stole a thing from the bison without a thought nor care. And man, I tell you what he stole must have been a precious item, because that bison mummy traveled a damn long way to fight him. He ended up about as far from Egypt as there is, went all the way to Alaska to kill this foe of his. That's when a group of amateurs came upon this bison mummy. Too stupid to be terrified, they thought the thing looked yummy. They cut a big piece off and cooked it for a meal. <laughs> And act so dumb and stupid, I barely know how to feel. <laughs> well, I'm sure you know what happened next. I won't tell it at great length. That bison mummy came alive and attacked with mummy strength. He trampled them in a bloody heap, then took a shit on the pile. Then continued on his evil journey of many a lonesome mile. That bison mummy is out there still, stalking the permafrost. And he better hope that our two paths never become accrossed. The end. Wow. Man. Listener, do you even know how lucky you are? That <laughs> is a master, excuse me, a master class. <laughs> here, here. In poetry. In, yes. I mean, that probably took you, what, one pass? And who knows how long it took the journo poet that did that before. I can't even imagine. Mm -hmm.